Uganda's President Yoweri Museveni says the country will launch a massive industrialization plan this year. The 2017-2018 budget will see infrastructure spending increase by 11 percent. The country is looking to the private sector and Chinese businesses to fund part of the growth. CGTN's Uche Okoron Kokota with the executive director of Uganda's investment authority Jolly Kamugira Kagu Hangire. What is it that will make uh, investors come to Uganda. So I have to have, first of all, I want to create investor confidence. Investors may not have been getting the best services or they don't have uh, information which is available to them. They struggle to get all that. So we have created a one-stop center in terms of uh, staff coming into one, uh, uh, in one building, one office, but at the same time we've gone ahead to have an electronic system which is supporting uh, the services. So our services are connected, our e-services here in URA are connected to other different agencies of government. And that one we believe that is really very good and it's going to quicken our, our services and make us very efficient. So already we are, we are at advanced stage by end of May we have our system working very well. Already is working. Uh, right now, I can boldly say that in two hours, I can give an investor uh, the, license, the investment license. Now, top on your agenda is to ensure that Uganda's industrial parks are functional. Currently, the country has about nine. Uh, well, give us an update on the progress made so far and certainly your targets. We plan to have uh, around 22 natu uh, national the, uh, industrial parks countrywide, but that is in five years time. That's our plan. Right now we have nine as UIA right now, and we have uh, about four, three active, mainly the Kampala one, the Namavi, we call it Nama, uh, Kampala Industrial Park. And then we have also in different regions of the country, but this one is very active so far. We have about 20 projects running already. We have uh, 295 investors that we expect that are going to begin within three years. Um, those are uh, already we employ around 11,000 uh, employees employed by those 20 which are active. So we pl we believe that by the end of next year we shall have at least like about 65 percent uh, operational because they're in the process of developing the place. Uh, then we also um, plan to have our own funds to provide uh, infrastructure as uh, that's how, how, what has been our, our need and our plan to provide uh, electricity, roads, water, so that the investor just comes to put his building. By the way, in our plan, if we have uh, enough funds, we'd even build and then they just come and find a ready place to be able to operate, but we are not yet there. So we plan to see that Kampala Industrial Park is ready by end of next year. Uh, then we'll be able to move to other places. We have plans to go to other uh, strategic areas, uh, but at the end of the five years, we believe we shall be at least having 10 operational, and in, among those 10, we plan also to have some vocational schools where we have science and technology also uh, institutes in those places. We will be working with the Ministry of Education to see that wherever we have uh, serious business, then we have also vocational institutes so that our, our people are able to learn on job. They learn and then they are able to practice near within the industrial parks.